Hello everyone, this is MJ and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow of the Jellyfish animation and understand what's really going on in this animation. So stay with me until the end. So uh, for creating this animation, uh, <clears throat> I have to start with the, I'm so sorry. Uh, I have to clear my voice first before that. Uh, talking about this project so uh, let's uh, start with the head actually I uh, start this animation with uh, animating the head uh, and its movement let me put it on the third resolution mm, uh, for the animation of the head so it is simply puppets and uh, I made a couple of keyframes here in order to animate the head. So it's not it's not something very complicated. Uh, then uh, I have to think about the uh, the tails of the jellyfish. So in order to make the tails, I uh, have a main comp, and in this comp, I just make a rectangle and uh, adding wave warp to this so it gives me a kind of wavy uh, uh, effects for the tails so i duplicate uh, the main comp and uh, set different offsets for each and every one of them uh, to make the the all the tails that uh, i have here for example uh, here i uh, i just know uh, delete the fill and just you no know, add some strips with different you no know, width size and uh, in the path options are just uh, adding it another you no know, uh, dots here and just you no know, uh, change the position of the uh, of these dots uh, to in order to make uh, different offsets uh, for example like this and so like this yeah so uh it uh actually i did this because you know i want to make different no tilts with different animations at different parts uh for the uh as you can see uh, in, in the main comp of the tails there's actually a rectangle so in order to make it uh, nicer at the end i uh, just uh, create a mask over it and uh uh, so let me show you if I put it at uh, at none uh, uh, I just you know, create a mask over it and uh, uh, Increase the amount of the feather in order to hide this part of the tails uh, And the same you know procedure is, uh, is going to happen for the other parts of the tails as well and uh, when you're satisfied with the animation of uh, um, tails, uh, uh, yes, tails, let me bring this to the right side. Uh, I simply add uh, two uh, effects. One of them is uh, mirror to have a perfect, you know, mirror shape for the tails if i know do not apply so you can see that's not very the same and it's a little bit messy so i add this uh, effects to get a, a very clear and smooth uh, results for the tails at, at, at the two sides and uh, also i parent you know, the heads and tails uh, to a null object uh, in order to uh, control uh, the whole parts of the jellyfish so I just know animating the positions in order to have this you no know, sort of movement for the jellyfish then I add uh, a couple of bulbs here so it is very simple I create some sort of uh, circles here and uh, play with position, skills, and opacity. 
and uh, also add turbulent displays to have kind of you no know, effects of bulbs under the water to make it more realistic and after that add uh, final touches of this you no know, uh, animations I add a, a dip glow to the animation to make it you no know, more beautiful so uh, after when we are satisfied with the animation of the jellyfish so we need to create the environments to make it you no know, uh, more beautiful and tanching for uh, uh, for the final results actually so uh, I add uh, firstly I add a BG uh, stands for background and uh, I uh, apply a gradient ramp to it and make it sort of you no know, water and at the you no know, lower part I just make it darker because uh, so you know that when you go deep into the water as you go further it uh, makes darker but when you go to the level of the water so it's more shiny uh, then uh, I have the animation of the jellyfish uh, I create uh, positions keyframe here in order uh, to reveal it from down part of the comp uh, coming to the middle of the compositions and simply add time remapping and add a loop out uh, expression to it in order to uh, loop out the whole animation on, on uh, to the amount of the time that you need it actually then uh, I added some uh, decorations to it uh, it's um, some sort of plants uh, simply I made a very big comp and you no know, positions the uh, plants and shapes that I uh, wants to add to the end to, to my animations uh, and uh, for the plants uh, I used a CC banded effect in order to move it in different ways and also uh, add an expression to the um, band options and that is uh, wiggle uh, with this no uh, uh, amount of frequency and amplitude uh, to, in order to you know, uh, move it randomly and when you are satisfied with the animations of the uh, plants uh, also I uh, add uh, some uh, tree tunes effects to some of them in order to make it more different color uh, plus to these uh, plants I add a fish here to the anim uh, to the animations uh, in order to fill uh, the center part of their uh, final the compositions I for this uh, I actually um, separated the fish into two layers the, the the main body actually the body of the fish and the tails of the tail of the um, fish so simply I uh, create some positions and you know, make it a little bit curvy uh, on its path and after that uh, mm, I, uh, in the tail actually I uh, make it pretty and parents it uh, to the end of the body of the fish and just you know creating uh, some uh, keyframes here and then add another loop expression to uh, just you know uh, animate it uh, until the, uh, the times uh, that I wanted so when you are satisfied with this uh, decorations you can uh, absolutely you can have your own decorations uh, to the scene to make it more beautiful and so it's up to you uh, so uh, back to our final compositions uh, I duplicate also the uh, fish here and some controllers the movement of the fish over here uh, and uh, uh, make it no uh, uh, with difference no uh, Z no uh, the space to make it you know uh, for example this fish uh, 
far beyond the behind actually the jellyfish so for the uh, for the last uh, part of this tutorial so uh, we we actually uh, add uh, some texture uh, to the whole compositions and set its mode to color dodge uh, to give kind of no noisy effects uh, so I used the same texture that I used for the jellyfish uh, with noise and turbulent displays so in the final project in the final composition actually uh, I set it to call dodge mood and after that I made a glue actually a deep glue effects which is uh, very very powerful and uh, more beautiful than uh, the default uh, glue. I have to mention that uh, I made these settings for the uh, deep glue. Uh, the radius is set to 50 and exposure 0 to 0 0.2 uh, is the amount of this no, uh, exposure. So uh, that's uh, the whole things that happened uh, in this animation. I hope uh, it's uh, uh helpful for i hope that it's helpful for you and uh you learn something from this video in order to uh use in your own projects and make more you know fun videos and share it with uh, others if you like this video uh hit that you know like button and if you have more ideas better than me so just you know, let me know in the comment section also you can buy this project with a little amount of money uh, and I uh, know, uh, put the uh, download link of this project in the descriptions so uh, that's all for now and I hope you enjoyed this video so for the next video uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit that ring button to be informed uh, for the next videos and uh, have fun